Occupational Stress, Wikipedia Article Audio Occupational stress is stress related to one's job. Occupational stress often stems from unexpected responsibilities and pressures that do not align with a person's knowledge, skills, or expectations, inhibiting one's ability to cope. Occupational stress can increase when workers do not feel supported by supervisors or colleagues, or feel as if they have little control over work processes. Models Origins Prevalence Negative health effects Gender Causes Working conditions Workload Long hours Status Economic factors Bullying Narcissism and psychopathy Workplace conflict Sexual harassment Occupational group Effects Prevention Signs and symptoms of excessive job and workplace stress Because stress results from the complex interactions between a large system of interrelated variables, there are several psychological theories and models that address occupational stress. Person-Environment Fit Model This model suggests that the match between a person and their work environment is key in influencing their health. For healthy conditions, it is necessary that employees' attitudes, skills, abilities, and resources match the demands of their job, and that work environments should meet workers' needs, knowledge, and skills' potential. Lack of fit in either of these domains can cause problems, and the greater the gap or misfit between the person and their environment, the greater the strain as demands exceed abilities, and need exceeds supply. These strains can relate to health-related issues, lower productivity, and other work problems. Defense mechanisms, such as denial, reappraisal of needs, and coping, also operate in the model, to try and reduce subjective misfit. Job Characteristics Model This model focuses on important aspects of job characteristics, such as skill variety, task identity, task significance, autonomy, and feedback. These characteristics are proposed to lead to critical psychological states of experienced meaningfulness, and experienced responsibility and knowledge of outcomes. It is proposed that positive or negative work characteristics give rise to mental states which lead to corresponding cognitive and behavioral outcomes, e.g. motivation, satisfaction, absenteeism, etc. In conjunction with the model, Hackman and Oldham developed the Job Diagnostic Survey, a questionnaire for job analysis, which implies key types of job redesign including combining tasks, creating feedback methods, job enrichment, etc. Diathesis Stress Model This model looks at behaviors as a susceptibility burden together with stress from life experiences. It is useful to distinguish stressful job conditions or stressors from an individual's reactions or strains. Strains can be mental, physical, or emotional. Occupational stress can occur when there is a discrepancy between the demands of the environment slash workplace and an individual's ability to carry out and complete these demands. Often a stressor can lead the body to have a physiological reaction that can strain a person physically as well as mentally. A variety of factors contribute to workplace stress such as excessive workload, isolation, extensive hours worked, toxic work environments, lack of autonomy, difficult relationships among co-workers and management, management bullying harassment and lack of opportunities or motivation to advancement in one skill level. Jobs Demand Resources Model 
this model posits that strain are a response to imbalance between demands of one's job and the resources he or she has to deal with those demands. Effort Reward Imbalance Model This model focuses on the reciprocal relationship between efforts and rewards at work. More specifically, the ARI model claims that work characterized by both high efforts and low rewards represents a reciprocity deficit between high costs and low gains, which could elicit negative emotions in exposed employees. The accompanying feelings may cause sustained strain reactions. So, working hard without receiving adequate appreciation or being treated fairly are examples of a stressful imbalance. Another assumption of the ARI model concerns individual differences in the experience of effort-reward imbalance. It is assumed that employees characterized by a motivational pattern of excessive job-related commitment and a high need for approval will respond with more strain reactions to an effort-reward imbalance, in comparison with less overcommit people. Sources of occupational stress come from these individual sources demonstrate that stress can occur specifically when a conflict arises from the job demands of the employee and the employee itself. If not handled properly, the stress can become distress. Distress is a prevalent and costly problem in today's workplace. About one-third of workers report high levels of stress. 20-30% of workers in different sectors of the European Union reported in 2007 that they believed work-related stress was potentially affecting their health. Three-quarters of employees believe the worker has more on-the-job stress than a generation ago. In Great Britain, a sixth of the workforce experiences occupational stress every year. Evidence also suggests that distress is the major cause of turnover in organizations. With continued distress at the workplace, workers will develop psychological and physiological dysfunctions and decreased motivation in excelling in their position. Increased levels of job stress are determined by the awareness of having little control but lots of demands in the work area. Occupational stress and its sequelae represent the majority of work-related illnesses causing missed work days. Those in the protective services, transportation and materials moving, building grounds cleaning and maintenance, and healthcare are more susceptible to both work injuries and illnesses, as well as work-related stress. Stress-related disorders encompass a broad array of conditions including psychological disorders and other types of emotional strain, maladaptive behaviors, and cognitive impairment. In turn, these conditions may lead to poor work performance, higher absenteeism, less work productivity or even injury. If untreated, consistently high stress can become a chronic condition, which can exacerbate existing mental health conditions and chronic physical conditions. These conditions not only diminish the well-being of workers and increase the employer's health benefits expenses, they contribute to increased injury incidents. Consistently high levels of stress increase the risk of occupational injury. A study of light-slash-short-haul truckers a group that experiences high rates of injury and mental health issues, found that frequent stress increased the odds of occupational injury by 350%. Job stress is also associated with various biological reactions that may lead ultimately to compromised health, such as cardiovascular disease, or in extreme cases death. Due to the high pressure and demands in the workplace the demands have been shown to be correlated with increased rates of heart attack, hypertension, and other disorders. In New York, Los Angeles, and London, among other municipalities, the relationship between job stress and heart attacks is acknowledged.
Problems at work are more strongly associated with health complaints than are any other life stressor more so than even financial problems or family problems. Occupational stress accounts for more than 10% of work-related health claims. Many studies suggest that psychologically demanding jobs that allow employees little control over the work process increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. Research indicates that job stress increases the risk for development of back and upper extremity musculoskeletal disorders. Other disorders that can be caused or exacerbated by occupational stress include sleep disorders, headache, mood disorders, upset stomach, hypertension, high cholesterol, autoimmune disease, cardiovascular disease, depression, and anxiety. Stress at work can also increase the risk of acquiring an infection and the risk of accidents at work. High levels of stress are associated with substantial increases in health service utilization. Workers who report experiencing stress at work also show excessive health care utilization. In a 1998 study of 46,000 workers, health care costs were nearly 50% greater for workers reporting high levels of stress in comparison to low-risk workers. The increment rose to nearly 150% an increase of more than $1,700 per person annually, for workers reporting high levels of both stress and depression. Health care costs increase by 200% in those with depression and high occupational stress. Additionally, periods of disability due to job stress tend to be much longer than disability periods for other occupational injuries and illnesses. Physiological reactions to stress can have consequences for health over time. Researchers have been studying how stress affects the cardiovascular system, as well as how work stress can lead to hypertension and coronary artery disease. These diseases, along with other stress-induced illnesses tend to be quite common in American workplaces. There are four main physiological reactions to stress. Men and women are exposed to many of the same stressors. Although men and women might not differ in overall strains, women are more likely to experience psychological distress, whereas men experience more physical strain. Demeray and Alksness suggest two explanations for the greater psychological distress of women. First, the genders may differ in their awareness of negative feelings leading women to express and report strains, whereas men deny and inhibit such feelings. Second, the demands to balance work and family result in more overall stressors for women that leads to increased strain. The Koenigs Research Institute released a global survey of almost 30,000 workers which showed that females suffered more workplace distress than their male counterparts. According to the survey, women's stress level were 10% higher for those in supervisory positions, 8% higher stress in service and production jobs than men, and 6% higher in middle and upper management than men in the same position. Job stress results from various interactions of the worker and the environment of the work they perform their duties. Location, gender, environment, and many other factors contribute to the buildup of stress. Job stress results from the interaction of the worker and the conditions of work. Views differ on the importance of worker characteristics versus working conditions as the primary cause of job stress. The differing viewpoints suggest different ways to prevent stress at work. Differences in individual characteristics such as personality and coping skills can be very important in predicting whether certain job conditions will result in stress. In other words, what is stressful for one person may not be a problem for someone else. This viewpoint underlies prevention strategies that focus on workers and ways to help them cope with demanding job conditions.
In general, occupational stress is caused by a mismatch between perceived effort and perceived reward, and slash or a sense of low control in a job with high demands. Low social support at work and job insecurity can also increase occupational stress. Psychosocial stressors are a major cause of occupational stress. Although the importance of individual differences cannot be ignored, scientific evidence suggests that certain working conditions are stressful to most people. Such evidence argues for a greater emphasis on working conditions as the key source of job stress, and for job redesign as a primary prevention strategy. Large surveys of working conditions, including conditions recognized as risk factors for job stress, were conducted in member states of the European Union in 1990, 1995, and 2000. Results showed a time trend suggesting an increase in work intensity. In 1990, the percentage of workers reporting that they worked at high speeds at least one quarter of their working time was 48 percent, increasing to 54 percent in 1995 and to 56 percent in 2000. Similarly, 50% of workers reported they work against tight deadlines at least one-fourth of their working time in 1990, increasing to 56% in 1995 and 60% in 2000. However, no change was noted in the period 1995-2000 in the percentage of workers reporting sufficient time to complete tasks. In an occupational setting, Dealing with workload can be stressful and serve as a stressor for employees. There are three aspects of workload that can be stressful. Workload as a work demand is a major component of the demand control model of stress. This model suggests that jobs with high demands can be stressful, especially when the individual has low control over the job. In other words, Control serves as a buffer or protective factor when demands or workload is high. This model was expanded into the demand control support model that suggests that the combination of high control and high social support at work buffers the effects of high demands. As a work demand, Workload is also relevant to the job demands resources model of stress that suggests that jobs are stressful when demands exceed the individual's resources to deal with them. A substantial percentage of Americans work very long hours. By one estimate, more than 26% of men and more than 11% of women worked 50 hours per week or more in 2000. These figures represent a considerable increase over the previous three decades, especially for women. According to the Department of Labor, there has been a rise in the number of hours in the workplace by employed women, an increase in extended work weeks by men, and a considerable increase in combined working hours among working couples, particularly couples with young children. A person's status in the workplace can also affect levels of stress. While workplace stress has the potential to affect employees of all categories, those who have very little influence to those who make major decisions for the company. However, less powerful employees are more likely to suffer stress than powerful workers. Managers as well as other kinds of workers are vulnerable to work overload. Economic factors that employees are facing in the 21st century have been linked to increased stress levels. Researchers and social commentators have pointed out that the computer and communications revolutions have made companies more efficient and productive than ever before. This boon in productivity however, has caused higher expectations and greater competition, putting more stress on the employee. The following economic factors may lead to workplace stress. Bullying in the workplace can also contribute to stress. This can be broken down into five different categories. 
This in effect can create a hostile work environment for the employees that, which in turn, can affect their work ethic and contribution to the organization. Thomas suggests that there tends to be a higher level of stress with people who work or interact with a narcissist, which in turn increases absenteeism and staff turnover. Body finds the same dynamic where there is corporate psychopath in the organization. Interpersonal conflict among people at work has been shown to be one of the most frequently noted stressors for employees. Conflict has been noted to be an indicator of the broader concept of workplace harassment. It relates to other stressors that might CO occur, such as role conflict, role ambiguity, and workload. It also relates to strains such as anxiety, depression, physical symptoms, and low levels of job satisfaction. Job demands the physical, psychological, social, or organizational aspects of a job that require sustained physical and slash or psychological effort or skills. Therefore, they are associated with expenditure of time and energy, job resources, the physical, psychological, social, or organizational aspects of the job that aid in achieving work goals, reduce job demands and the associated physiological and psychological cost, stimulate personal growth, learning, and development. Blood is shunted to the brain and large muscle groups, and away from extremities, skin, and organs that are not currently serving the body an area near the brain stem, known as the reticular activating system, goes to work, causing a state of keen alertness as well as sharpening of hearing and vision, energy providing compounds of glucose and fatty acids are released into the bloodstream, the immune and digestive systems are temporarily shut down. Pressure from investors, who can quickly withdraw their money from company stocks, the lack of trade and professional unions in the workplace, inter-company rivalries caused by the efforts of companies to compete globally, the willingness of companies to swiftly lay off workers to cope with changing business environments. Threat to profession status, threat to personal status, isolation, excess work, destabilization i.e. lack of credit for work, meaningless tasks etc. Ensure that the workload is in line with workers' capabilities and resources, design jobs to provide meaning, stimulation, and opportunities for workers to use their skills, clearly define workers' roles and responsibilities, to reduce workplace stress, managers may monitor the workload given out to the employees. Also while they are being trained they should let employees understand and be notified of stress awareness, give workers opportunities to participate in decisions and actions affecting their jobs, improve communications reduce uncertainty about career development and future employment prospects, provide opportunities for social interaction among workers, Establish work schedules that are compatible with demands and responsibilities outside the job. Combat workplace discrimination. Bringing in an objective outsider such as a consultant to suggest a fresh approach to persistent problems. Introducing a participative leadership style to involve as many subordinates as possible to resolve stress-producing problems. Encourage work-life balance through family-friendly benefits and policies. Women are more likely than men to experience sexual harassment, especially for those working in traditionally masculine occupations. In addition, a study indicated that sexual harassment negatively affects workers' psychological well-being. Another study found that level of harassment at workplaces lead to differences in performance of work-related tasks. High levels of harassment were related to the worst outcomes, and no harassment was related to least negative outcomes. In other words, 
women who had experienced a higher level of harassment were more likely to perform poorly at workplaces. Lower occupational groups are at higher risk of work-related ill health than higher occupational groups. This is in part due to adverse work and employment conditions. Furthermore, such conditions have greater effects on ill health to those in lower socioeconomic positions. Stressful working conditions can lead to three types of strains, behavioral, physical, and psychological. Physical symptoms that may occur because of occupational stress include fatigue, headache, upset stomach, muscular aches and pains, weight gain or loss, chronic mild illness, and sleep disturbances. Psychological and behavioral problems that may develop include anxiety, irritability, alcohol and drug use, feeling powerless and low morale. The spectrum of effects caused by occupational stress includes absenteeism, poor decision-making, lack of creativity, accidents, organizational breakdown, or even sabotage. If exposure to stressors in the workplace is prolonged, then chronic health problems can occur including stroke. An examination was of physical and psychological effects of workplace stress was conducted with a sample of 552 female blue-collar employees of a microelectronics facility. It was found that job-related conflicts were associated with depressive symptoms, severe headaches, fatigue, rashes, and other multiple symptoms. Studies among the Japanese population specifically showed a more than two-fold increase in the risk of total stroke among men with job strain. Those in blue-collar or manual labor jobs are more likely to develop heart disease compared to those in white-collar jobs. Along with the risk of stroke, stress can raise the risk of high blood pressure, immune system dysfunction, coronary artery disease. Prolonged occupational stress can lead to occupational burnout. Occupational stress can also disrupt relationships. The effects of job stress on chronic diseases are more difficult to ascertain because chronic diseases develop over relatively long periods of time and are influenced by many factors other than stress. Nonetheless, there is some evidence that stress plays a role in the development of several types of chronic health problems including cardiovascular disease, musculoskeletal disorders, and psychological disorders. Job stress and strain has been associated with poor mental health and well-being over a 12-year period. Occupational stress has negative effects for organizations and employers. Occupational stress is the cause of approximately 40% of turnover and 50% of workplace absences. The annual cost of occupational stress and its effects in the U.S. is estimated to be over $60 billion to employers and $250-$300 billion to the economy. A combination of organizational change and stress management is often the most useful approach for preventing stress at work. Both organizations and employees can employ strategies at organizational and individual levels. Generally, organizational level strategies include job procedure modification and employee assistance programs. Individual level strategies include taking vacation, getting a realistic job preview to understand the normal workload and schedules of the job will also help people to identify whether or not the job fit them. How an organization can prevent job stress An insurance company conducted several studies on the effects of stress prevention programs in hospital settings. Program activities included employee and management education on job stress, changes in hospital policies and procedures to reduce organizational sources of stress, and the establishment of employee assistance programs. In one study, 
the frequency of medication errors declined by 50% after prevention activities were implemented in a 700-bed hospital. In a second study, there was a 70% reduction in malpractice claims in 22 hospitals that implemented stress prevention activities. In contrast, there was no reduction in claims in a matched group of 22 hospitals that did not implement stress prevention activities. Telecommuting is another way organizations can help reduce stress for their workers. Employees define telecommuting as an alternative work arrangement in which employees perform tasks elsewhere that are normally done in a primary or central workplace, for at least some portion of their work schedule, using electronic media to interact with others inside and outside the organization. One reason that telecommuting gets such high marks is that it allows employees more control over how they do their work. Telecommuters reported more job satisfaction and less desire to find a new job. Employees that worked from home also had less stress, improved work-slash-life balance and higher performance rating by their managers. A systematic review of stress reduction techniques among healthcare workers found that cognitive behavioral training lowered emotional exhaustion and feelings of lack of personal accomplishment. Signs and symptoms of excessive job and workplace stress include Both yoga and mindful-based stress reduction have been shown to reduce work-related stress. Nursings participating in cognitive behavioral interventions less perceived stress, a greater sense of coherence, and increased mood. Expanding research on stress Contemporary opinions hold that jobs designed to support skill variety, task identity, significance, autonomy, and feedback, while providing for existence and growth needs, will sustain a healthier, greater satisfied workforce. For team-oriented work environments, Patrick Lencioni's The Five Dysfunctions of a Team profiles the behavior of cohesive teams. For immediate individual stress management, rudimentary mental coping strategies may be adopted in the work environment.